Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this beer pong table. It took me over six months to create this thing, and no telling how many hours I put into this, so let's just get right on into it. Of course, we always want to start off with sanding because it is plastic, and then I went ahead to scrubbing it down and cleaning it and making sure it's very dry. I went in with this Kilt's Original Interior Primer, which was freaking amazing. Completely ruined my brushes, so be careful. After that, I just wanted to go ahead and make all my stencils and outlines and how I wanted my shapes to be. And for my table, I did want to incorporate some football, so I am just drawing all that out and figuring out where everything is going to be, what I'm going to do on here, which that is what took me the longest. I am from Louisiana, so of course I'm doing the New Orleans Saints. And for my table, I want it to be more symmetrical with the shapes and what's going on. So I did New Orleans Saints on one side and LSU on the other. And because I wanted my table to be a lot more cohesive than the ones that I saw, I'm going to be doing a football field on either side of the table. And because the table folds right down the middle, I wanted to do whiskey on one side and beer on the other and four different brands each. And as you can see, there's a lot more done in this video because this table took me so freaking long. I did everything by hand. I want to say the only thing I used a stencil for was the pillow for the crown royal. It took forever i'm sure you can find a stencil and print it out online but i do really well with just looking at something and just drawing it out a million times <laughs> and as you can see trying to keep the table cohesive i wanted to do the american flag so i did stars on one side and stripes on the other i didn't know exactly how much video i should put in of me painting because it seemed like it'd be pretty boring just to watch me paint over and over again but as I'm finishing up all the beer side, I'm going to be moving on to the whiskey. And this side was by far the most fun I had painting. I thought painting the fireball would be one of the ones that looked the worst, but it actually turned out to be my favorite one. And as you can see, there's a triangle left in the middle that I struggled with on how to place everything. I knew I wanted beer pong rolls on there, so I decided to go with like a medieval type style and put a scroll on there and a bunch of other little incorporations. And that is really what took me the longest because I didn't have this table planned out except for a few things that I knew I wanted. That is what took me the longest, figuring out what I wanted to do. And another thing was working so many hours on this thing, you kind of get sick of it and I'm all for like, if I don't want to paint, I'm not going to paint because if I do paint, I'm going to mess it up. It's like writer's block, but painter's block. So I just have to step away. And honestly, I'm even exhausted watching this, but actually wanting to do it again because this was the biggest thing I'd ever painted and I loved it. So you can see I added a lot of incorporations. I also did like a wax seal with my initials on the bottom. And then I'm going to be adding the top coat. I used this universal clear durable top coat. It was great. I bought like six cans. You could have honestly have done more. After this, I did lay the table down flat just so there wasn't any weird drips or anything like that. I wish I could tell you guys how long this table lasted and how durable it was. But after I spent so much time on it, I physically could not use it. And I got an offer from a family member who wanted to buy it from me and hang it into their shop as decor. So I'm a lot more happy with that outcome because it's not getting messed up. And they look at it as an art piece and I do too now. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I would love to hear what you think about it down in the comments below. Thank you. Bye.